Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Vic here, back with another Madden 20 video, and in today's episode, we're obviously going to be rebuilding the Seattle Seahawks, and I just recorded my new Madden 21 trailer review, so you guys should go check that out. Uh, the link won't be in the description, it was literally my previous video, so just click on my channel and go find it. It's not that hard to find, but anyways guys, obviously we're going to be rebuilding the Seattle Seahawks. We have Russell Wilson, which is a great quarterback, he's arguably... He's arguably the best quarterback in the NFL, but I personally think it's Patrick Mahomes. But looking into the team, we have Russell Wilson here, obviously. And we have DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, and Chris Carson. But looking into Russell Wilson, his superstar X Factor is Blitz Radar with Escape Artist, Threat Detector, and Dashing Deadeye with Agile Extender. And overall, pretty the Blitz Radar ability is kind of like iffy i guess it's not it's not really the best ability but looking into the team rashad penny we're probably going to look to trade o-line is kind of trash uh tight ends i'm going to start will disley over i think that was greg olson yeah because greg olson is like what 39 no 34 okay i overestimated that a lot um but defensively we are looking pretty good with bobby wagner as our superstar x factor and his superstar x factor is shut down with enforcer and tackle supreme one of the two best superstar abilities you can get and uh secondary wise is okay i guess defensive line is also okay um everything else looks pretty good to me there's nothing too much i would complain about on this team but overall i am pretty excited to do this rebuild and it is time to get into the trades here we are for the first trade we are trading our kicker our free safety and our right outside linebacker for the jaguar center and a fifth round pick from the jacksonville jaguars Next, we have our left tackle and Rashad Penny for a first round pick from the Los Angeles Chargers. Both just took up cap and I both just didn't really need them. Next, we have our right tackle, our center, and our right end for a first round pick from the Arizona Cardinals. All these guys just took up cap and they were just depth players. And this is what the team looks like after the trades. The O-line, I would actually say improved. Some of you guys may disagree, but the left tackle wasn't even that good. Uh, defensively, we got much worse, as you can see. But that's okay, because we have draft picks out of it. But apart from that, there's nothing too much to complain about here. But this team is a 75 overall. And apart from that, it would be time to get into the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark coming off a win to the Atlanta Falcons as we are 5-3 and three, about to play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And we are also at the top of the division above the San Francisco 49ers and we have players to resign such as Chris Carson. And he is superstar development now because of a breakout challenge that I did earlier. And I now I have to resign him. I feel I can't let him hit free agency like this. I was going to let him hit free agency, but he is re-signed. Shaquille Griffin is here. I think I can get him cheaper in free agency as well. So I'll let him walk. Um, Jerron Reed is here. I think I'm going to want to keep him, and I think I'll just accept that contract, but extend it a little bit more, and he accepts as well. Quentin Dunbar, I'm going to let hit free agency. Not that important. Greg Olson, too old to re-sign, and Bradley Mc. McDougald, I think it was. Not gonna resign, we don't need him. And apart from that, everything else looks good. And I think it would be time to get into the playoffs. Here we are at the playoffs coming off a win to the San Francisco 49ers as we are 10 and 6 about to play the 9 and 7 Minnesota Vikings. We finished top the division above the 49ers. Russell Wilson did not do as good as I expected. 18th best offense, 23rd best defense. Chris Carson actually had a pretty great season with the most touchdowns. Russell Wilson with only four picks, but 25 touchdowns. Um, Chris Carson with 16 touchdowns and over 1,000 yards rushing. Will Disley had a pretty solid season. Not very many touchdowns, though. Defensively, Bobby Wagner with the most tackles, of course. Tackles for a loss goes to 12 for Benson May. I don't even want to pronounce that. Uh, sacks, seven for the Benson dude. Uh, Four interceptions for Bobby Wagner. Safeties is zero and defensive touchdowns is zero. So apart from that, I'm just going to simulate this wild card around because I just don't need to play it and I don't want to play it either. If we make it to the AFC Championship, maybe I'll play it. I don't know. I don't really know yet. 
But uh, we lost first round 21 to 14. So apart from that, it's time to get into the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs. Well, actually, in the off season is what I meant to say. I don't know why I keep saying playoffs and off season and all this trap or whatever. But um, Shaquille Griffin and all these players, I don't want to resign. And yeah, I think that would be really about it. I think the Bills won the Super Bowl. There are the Saints. I don't really know. I don't really care either. Though Chris Carson has superstar X Factor now. So yeah, he, I'm very glad I re-signed him when I did. Probably would have cost a lot more with Wrecking Ball, Arm Bar. And I can't see his final superstar ability because he's not high enough overall. DK Metcalf is only a star. Uh, gonna bench Greg Olson again. And everything else here kind of looks the same. Maybe uh, Benson, the left end, actually has star development now. I just noticed that. So apart from that, it is time to get into free agency. Here we are after free agency as we didn't really do too much on offense, really. And defensively, well, yeah, offensively, we didn't really do much. And why did I go out of that? Go back in. Come on, game. Work, please. Defensively, we did really nothing. Imagine that. <laughs> we did really nothing other than get depth defensive backs. And apart from that, I would say... This team it looks okay, and it would be time to get into the draft. Here we are after the draft as we improved on the O-line tremendously. Went from 60 overalls to like 70 overalls, which is, isn't really great. But we got a receiver, two outside linebackers, and a defensive end. So very, very much has improved on the defensive side of the ball. Hopefully just one of those players has at least superstar development. That's all I ask for. And apart from that, it would be time to get into the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark coming off a bye week about to play the Miami Dolphins and Will Disley has a breakout challenge so I'll probably upgrade him already and looking into it we yeah we're third in the division that's not great uh Will Disley he is superstar development now because of a breakout challenge so maybe he could get superstar x factor in this next breakout challenge that would be pretty cool and he re-signs with us on a pretty cheap contract considering his development and overall and i don't want to re-sign the kicker because i can pick him up cheaper in free agency but apart from that this team looks pretty good and i think it would be time to get to the playoffs here we are in the playoffs not making the playoffs coming off a loss to the philadelphia eagles and looking into it we finish eight and eight okay below the arizona cardinals uh, Russell Wilson had a better season than last season, 4th best offense and 10th best defense. Russell Wilson with only 8 picks but 34 touchdowns as well. Chris Carson with 14 touchdowns over 1,100 yards, which is pretty great. Tyler Lockett had a pretty good season and Will Disley had 10 touchdowns. Defensive wise, Bobby Wagner with the most tackles. Most tackles for a loss, 17 for Jerron Reed and 10 sacks for Keenan Marsh. Interceptions is two for Bobby Wagner and safeties is zero. Defensive touchdowns is z one actually for Lano Hill. So apart from that, I think it would be time to get into the offseason. Here we are in the offseason as the Browns win the Super Bowl to the Giants 42-34. And looking into it, there's no one here that I really want to resign either. So nothing really that big, I would say. And apart from that, we're going to look into the team to see if there's any development upgrades. Looking into it, Will Disley only stayed at the star development. Our receiver only has star development. Well, Will Disley is a superstar is what I meant to say. And our outside linebacker is a superstar X Factor. That's literally all I wanted. I only wanted a superstar out of one of our players. And we got a superstar X Factor Fearmonger and Secure Tackler. I don't really like Fearmonger, but it is what it is. You can't really change it. And apart from that, I think everything else looks good on this team, and it is time to get into free agency. Here we are after free agency, as we didn't really do too much on offense, but defensively, we did pick up Marshawn Lattimore as a defensive back, and special teams-wise, we got a kicker and a punter. And apart from that, it is time to get into the draft. Here we are after the draft as we did improve on the O-line a little bit with that left guard and the right tackle, I believe. Uh, Defensive-wise, we didn't, didn't really do much other than a lot of depth players. 
And apart from that, I think it would be time to get into the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark, coming off a win to the Los Angeles Rams as we are about to play the Minnesota Vikings as we are 4-3-1. and one. We are also second in the division below the LA Rams. And getting into the contracts, Tyler Lockett is here. We obviously will want him back. Tyler Lockett's a little bit expensive, but we keep him around. Our punter, I can probably get cheaper in free agency, but you know what? Screw it. It's fine. We can keep him around. Jordan Brooks is not supposed to be here. Damian Lewis, I don't think he's supposed to be here. A lot of these players aren't supposed to be here. I'll fix that off camera, but apart from that, it is time to get into the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs coming off a win to the 49ers as we did not make the playoffs, finishing 8-7-1 behind the LA Rams. And Russell Wilson didn't do as good as I think he would. 27th best offense, 21st best defense. And looking into it, Russell Wilson actually I thought had a pretty good year. Chris Carson did not have a good year. DK Metcalf was eh. Um, defensive wise, Bobby Wagner with 102 tackles, tackles for a loss, 11 for Johnny Goodwin, sacks, nine and a half for Keenan Marsh, interceptions, two for Chardavius Ward, and safeties is one for Elton Harper, and defensive touchdowns is zero. So, apart from that, we got to get into the final season and make some moves. So, let's get into it. Here we are in the offseason as the Bills win the Super Bowl to the Panthers, 28 to 3. And there's no one here that I want to resign or need to resign. So apart from that, let's look into the team to see if there's any development upgrades. Only an 84 overall team, as I don't see anything on offense. And defensively, what do we have? I don't see anything on defense either, so that's pretty disappointing. Maybe the strong safety, I don't really remember. But apart from that, it is time to get into the draft. I meant to say free agency, not the draft. You guys know what I mean. I am really bad with this commentary stuff, but we got a better right tackle at Mitchell Schwartz, and defensively, we got Keanu Neal and DeForest Buckner as well. So apart from that, now it is time to get into the draft. And in the draft, we are trading our first, our second, and our third for Cameron Jordan from the Saints, 88 overall superstar X-Factor defensive end. And this is what the team looks like after the draft. Didn't really improve much on the offensive line, obviously. Defensively, Cameron Jordan out here with Superstar X Factor. Not one of the best teams I've ever had, but it's pretty good. So it's time to get into the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark, coming off a win to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And we are on a bye week. And we are 6-2, and two, top of the division. So I expect us to get a first round bye. And looking into the contracts, I don't need to resign any of these players because it's the last season. So apart from that, it is time to get into the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs, only getting a wild card, coming off a loss to the San Francisco 49ers as we are 10-6, and six, finishing third in the division. Okay, that's interesting. And Russell Wilson here did not do that good. 23rd best offense, but the best defense in the NFL. Uh, I don't know why I said it like that. Russell Wilson didn't do too good. C Chris Carson didn't do too good. Philip Hillman didn't do too good either. Overall, offense kind of sucked. Bobby Wagner with 116 tackles. Tackles for a loss. 19 for Cameron Jordan. Sacks. 11 for DeVor DeForest Buckner. Interception. 6 for Shaquille Griffin. Safeties is 1 for DeForest Buckner. And 1 for Cameron Jordan. Defensive touchdowns is 0. So apart from that, I would say it is time to jump straight into this wildcard game against the 9-6-1 Carolina Panthers. So let's get into it. Here we are in the second quarter. It is 10-14. About to enter the third quarter, 10-21. The Carolina Panthers are up 17-21, 17-28 in the third quarter. And it is there in the red zone once again, 17 to 31. I'm not going to even jump in. I'm just going to let this simulate. As they push further ahead, 17 to 34. Now it is 24 to 34. Late in the fourth quarter, one, two minutes left actually. 41 to 24, and that I think will be the ball game. 31 to 41 is your ball game. Losing by 10 points in the wild card round in the final season, which kind of sucks. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I didn't even make it past.
past really anywhere. I didn't make it past the wild card, but I still think this was a good team and a good rebuild. This was definitely not one of my good rebuilds. Look at look back at a lot of my other rebuilds, other than my Saints rebuild. I raged pretty hard in that video, but you'll see I'm actually pretty good at rebuilding teams. But apart from that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I did. I just again I just dropped a new Madden 21 trailer review. And apart from that, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.